Hello Glamorices and welcome to another video tutorial of Glam Up Your Business. This time we're talking all things email. I'm going to show you in Gmail how you can delete emails in bulk and how to utilize the labels feature so that you can keep your inbox glammed up, organized, and well put together. So the first thing is that you want to do is you want to open up your Gmail account. I do want to say as a point of disclosure is before you try to delete or do any sort of bulk deletion is to review all of your inboxes to ensure that you're not deleting items that you actually want to keep. Um, this is very specific also for the promotions folder. If you guys don't know in Gmail, they categorize your inbox as primary, which is kind of just a default inbox. It's usually what you see when you first open up the application then there's a social um, folder the social folder would be anything like Twitter meetup Instagram any type of social media account it's usually filtered in this area and then you have the promotions folder which is obviously um, advertisements but sometimes Gmail does filter important emails in the promotions folder and before I get started I just want to quickly show you guys how you can actually move a uh, email that's in a folder to another folder so let's say i wanted to keep this email and i want it to go into my inbox what you can do is you can click there's a button where it says move to um, it actually has like a little folder um, with an arrow you can click that and if you select one of the labels which i'm going to show you how to create later on um, it'll automatically move that into the inbox folder. So just a quick note. All right, so moving forward to how to delete emails in bulk. So the first thing is, is that you wanna click the select all button. The select all button is um, found on the left hand um, side right next to the archive button. And essentially when you press this option, it's going to select the first 50 emails that are displays, displayed in your view. Another note, <laughs> Another thing to note is that you need to make sure that you're doing this on a desktop. This is the way to do bulk deletion. So it's going to select the first 50 emails. But if you guys notice here on the right hand side, it says that I have 89 emails in totality in this inbox. So what you want to do is you're going to select right under the select all button. There's a verbiage that reads all 50 conversations on this page are selected select all 89 conversations and promotions and when you click that what gmail is going to do is going to select all of the emails in your inbox this may look different for you for example when i first did this i had over 40,000 emails i know super crazy but it basically selects all of the emails and therefore when you click the delete button you're going to be able to confirm the bulk action and it's going to reconfirm that you want to delete all of these emails and then you're just going to press OK. It's going to take a little bit of time to delete the emails. So I normally would recommend um, to, you know, give it a few minutes, especially if you have more than 100 emails It may take longer. I think for me with the 40K that I had, it took about like maybe five or 10 minutes or so. Um, so just a quick note and that's it. Now all of my emails are deleted from my promotions folder and I can move on to other inboxes, right? So I'm gonna do the same for social because honestly, I don't look at anything that falls into this category. Sometimes I kind of do read certain notifications from Twitter, but again, we're gonna click the select all uh, option. In this inbox, I have 1,294 emails, right? So what I'm gonna do is again, I'm going to select all 1,294 um, emails and then I'm going to click the delete option. Gmail will prompt you to confirm the bulk action that is about to occur. That is about to occur and then you're gonna click OK. So again, give it a few minutes. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but what I want to show you guys next is how to use labels to keep your inbox organized. So the first thing is you're gonna go to your left pane. Like I said, it is gonna take a little bit of time for Gmail to delete um, the social inbox. So we're just gonna move forward with the labeling. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down after you, uh, so in the, sorry guys, I'm going probably a little bit too fast. So on your left hand side, you should see a section that says more. You're gonna scroll all the way down until you find the create new label option. In this area, you just wanna make sure that you put some sort of symbol at the beginning 
of the label title i like to use an asterisk because i noticed that when you put symbols it'll bring those label those label categories all the way up so then you're going to write out what you want the label to be i have utilized the action required um option required responded whatever you want to organize your emails whatever is easiest for you in terms of verbiage that you're going to remember okay this is the type of verbiage that i'm going to use for all of my emails that i need to review right and maybe it's you know action required right like maybe this is all of the emails that you need to take some sort of step or response you're going to put action required and then you're going to click create or let's write to do right you click create and then when you go on the left hand side again um, you're going to see here that the now the label is up at the top right and then if you want to give the label a certain type of color let's say it's red you can do that i can go into my inbox and basically select an email and now that label option is going to be available and you can mark it as action required i already have a few labels set up so let's say that i completed um, whatever action i had to do for this email i can just mark respond and completed so i hope this makes sense i know guys it was a little bit um, rush. I am trying to keep these tutorials to five minutes or less, but if you have questions, just drop them in the comment section of this video and I'd be happy to help.